So out of all of the Google apps, probably my favorite one is Google Forms. As you can see, I have a lot. This is not even the tip of the iceberg. And just as a little reminder, um, anytime you want to check out any of the other Google apps, you come up to this three by three and some of the main ones pop up. You can always hit more and then even more to get more options. That's just a little bit of a tip. But to go ahead and just walk you through starting a Google Form, let's go ahead and start a blank one. And just right here, you go ahead and just write a title. Um, and then automatically that will, well, it should, yep, there it goes, change the title up here. Now, what you want to do is um, make sure that if you want students or whoever to take this, that they have to answer this question, you want to make sure to go to required. And if you want to um, make this a test, uh, you know, which, or a survey, it really just kind of uh, depends. You have all sorts of different types of questions here that you can do. I'll just do short answer just because that's the easiest. Although um, we couldn't really necessarily make this a graded quiz in this point. Um, a couple of other things, and I'll come back maybe to show how you can. You can add a question, right? And then once here, I could duplicate. I'll duplicate this question, and then it's definitely required. It has this, so we'll have to, to change it um, based on what you want to do. Um, you can add in additional information here. You can bring in an image if you want, even a video. So if you wanted them to answer a question based on content, a video that you uh, brought in or analyzing an image or whatever the case might be. Uh, and you can also add sections. So if you want the assessment to be separated by section, you can do that. Um, now this is the automatic, the purple, but you can come change colors pretty easy or come and do more. Uh, and you have all sorts of options here just to make things, um, you know, interesting and unique. There we go. That looks pretty festive. So there we go. Um, we'll go ahead and do a question. You can do kind of a linear scale, right? So how much do you like football, for example? Obviously, I'm just coming up with random things. The label for one, not at all. Um, here, it is my passion in life, right? So whatever the case might be. Now, obviously, the way that this is is more of a survey because these answers are not necessarily going to be exact. However, if you wanted to, um, you could change this. these um, questions and you could turn it into a quiz. Um, let's see, I'll have to remember how to do that because it has been a while. So settings here, general, you can collect email addresses. That's good to do if you do have assessments, things that you're grading because then the student's MCPS email is automatically um, accepted or uh, taken in by the form. You can restrict the users. You can restrict or not their responses. You can let them edit or not see the responses. Uh, presentation, you can let them see how far along they are. You can change the question order. So if you are giving them quiz to multiple students in the class using Chromebooks, for example, and you want them not to be able to peek at their neighbor, you can do it that way. Um, and if you want them to be able to submit another response, you can do that here. So quizzes here, this is how we do it. We can make this a quiz. Uh, so then you can release the grade, um, you know, either after they complete it or if you wanted to change it, wait till you get all of them and came back. So then you can also change what types of feedback that they get. Um, so they can see the missed questions, the correct answers. That's really important. So you'll have to write in the correct answers and point values that you can uh, change. So here's the answer key. What is your favorite color? Well. Uh, let's just say, since my favorite color is orange, that that's the correct answer. Obviously, this wouldn't be the type of question, right? But here you can change the point value, 1, 10, whatever it is that you want. And there you go. If you want to add answer feedback, 
you can say, you know, sorry, blue is too common. Orange is the best. Obviously, you would change this, right? So these are just some quick little ways that you can use the Google Forms to create a quiz.